James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with my final review of the the Intel Mini PC that I uh, did a couple videos for you guys for the unboxing, the um, you know software install and stuff like that. This is from our friends over at Finu. You can get it on Amazon. I think it's about $159.99 right now. Now, like uh, you know, I said before, this does have a CPU Intel, so the Intel CPU is in here. It's, a, it's an Atom Cherry Trial. It's a Z8 350 quad core system, you know. So it, it does have onboard single channel memory. So it's a single channel 4 gigabyte stick of DDR3. You know, 4 gigs should be enough to do what everybody needs. I've been using this for, you know, a few weeks now. So I, you know, I've got control over what I've been using it for. It does have the Wi-Fi, so you have the 802.11, you know, supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It's got Bluetooth 4.0, which is great, so that means you can put a Bluetooth keyboard on there. You don't need to, you know, waste your USB ports plugging in the keyboard and stuff. You know, audio format, you can play anything from MP3 all the way up to, you know, MA4s, FLAX, you know, stuff like that. It is a computer, so you can play them. Video formats, AVI, all the way to MPEGs, you know, same thing. You know, software is Windows 10. It is a, you know, a shrunk down version of Windows 10. So, you're not getting everything that Windows 10 on your PC would have, but it's there. You know, it's, um, I believe it's like 64 gigabytes. Yeah, it's 64 gigabytes of hard drive space, if I remember right. You know, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I'm trying to remember a good, a good amount of what it is and what's on there. You have one card reader, you have one um, headphone jack. So, if you have the card reader, you can stick the card slot in there. Um, I don't have one laying around just out. Or do I? You know what? I actually have one laying right here in front of me. So, I can show you guys this. If I can pull it out of the bag real quick. You know, you have the card reader right here. Pop it in. You're in. So you can put your microchips, your SD cards, you know, if you have a CD reader. Stick it in there. And you can pull your files off. Or you can use the USB flash drives. You have three ports, which are nice. You have an HDMI port. You have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You know, pretty much simple. All you can use, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I was using it. You know, that's how I tested this. Now, there are some drawbacks about this little mini PC. So, they're not big drawbacks. So, if you're looking for a gaming computer, this is not going to be it. Sure, you can play little, you know, games like uh, Facebook games, probably some like, maybe smaller games that don't take up a lot of, you know, graphics. But if you're going to go out there and try to get some, like, you know, Hellblade or, you know, something else this is not going to play it. So don't be picking this up if you think this is going to be something you're going to want to play for, you know, a lot of games. Definitely won't do it. I've used it to surf Facebook, you know, Amazon, YouTube videos, you know, the video I did, you guys saw a little drawback of it because I was trying to record from the computer while also doing the other things. It's not a multitasker. You're not going to be able to multitask. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna use up your CPU all to 100%. You know, and that's just the drawbacks of this. Now, if you want to use this just to watch movies on your TV and connect it up to your TV to have a PC there, definitely go for it. It works well for that. Um, you know, it's about four and a half inches by four and a half inches. It's got rubber feet to set down. So if you want rubber feet, that's fine. It's got a bracket that comes with the bracket. I don't have the bracket laying here because I was using it in the bedroom. But the bracket slides in, you know, you mount it to your wall, and you're good to go. Um, you know, like I said, you can put that memory card right there that'll expand your memory. Doesn't hurt to do it. What else can I say about it? I mean, it's definitely good you know, web surfer, so you can surf it from your TV or if you want it in your bedroom so you don't have a big bulky box, definitely works there. Netflix works, you know, stuff like that works on this. You have the place through the Microsoft Store so you can download certain things. I do suggest watching what you download because you will fill up the memory quick. Not a big deal. 
Netflix doesn't take up a lot, so you're good there. Hulu's good. I mean, um, stuff like that. Vudu, you can go on Vudu if you guys know what Vudu is. You know, rent movies, stream movies. That's all saved on another system, so you won't be taking up space there. Um, USB plugs, you know, for like mice. This is what I was using. This is a little Dell mice. It's a wireless. You know, you got to think, once you start using those, you're losing USB plugs. You can use this connected to your printer. Definitely works there. Not issues. I was, um, I tested it a couple times. It works to my, you know, it hooks right up to my HP office jet. So that's not a big deal. The, you know, one of the drawbacks I was, was having is, is I don't like to leave my computers on at night while I'm sleeping. I like to give them a rest. Well, if you hide this behind something, you're going to actually have to go back there, hit the power button to make it come on. Now, you could put it in sleep mode, and then you move your mouse or whatever, and it'll wake up. But if you want to completely power it down, you will have to go back there and do that. So hiding it, not a big deal. Now, the main name, like it says, is a fanless PC. Doesn't have a fan. Well, I haven't had no heating issues, so this hasn't been an issue. As you know, I have ACs running right now. It is going to be, you know, about 100 degrees here today. I don't think it'll have a problem. Even if the, if the ACs weren't on, I think this would run no problem. Now, not to say that it wouldn't hinder it some, but not a big deal. Definitely won't get dusty. I mean, so that's another, you know, good thing. But all in all, this mini Intel PC from Fenwu, or Fenwin, I apologize if I butchered the name, you know, F-E-N-N-I-U. I will actually put it that in this video so you guys can see that, you know, and the link to this item will be down at the bottom of the description so you guys will see it there. You know, it is a decent PC. Um, Price-wise, is it a little high? You know, that that's going to be, you know, that remains to be seen. I mean, it's, you know, cheaper than going out and buying... Like, I have um, a box that connects to my TV already in my living room. That was a lot more. I think this has higher specs, so that's th that's a good thing. Definitely has more hard drive space, you know, so you got that 64 gigabytes of EMMC. So, not bad. But all in all, I, I recommend this, you know, do I recommend it to everybody? No, because this isn't going to be for everybody. Um, I, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I thank you for checking this out. And, you know, definitely, you know, if you want to check it out, you know, go ahead and check it out. You may enjoy this little PC. I enjoyed it. My wife's going to be using this until, like I said, I can get the Z270 board for the 6700K. You know, I got to find another board for it. I just don't want to go out and spend a high price on a brand new board for that, you know, computer. So... If I was going to do that, I'd go build another 9900K like I'm using now. But that's not where I'm going to go. So she's going to be using this. She plays a lot of Facebook games, so she'll be using this for that. Um, we'll be streaming movies in our bedroom. I might hook it up to the projector instead so she can just do it that way. But all in all, decent PC for, you know, about 159 bucks right now. You know, you, you won't have to pay shipping through Amazon, so you wouldn't worry about that. But thank you for checking out my video of my, uh, you know, the pretty much full the rundown review. And keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com to come. And thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.